Well, it is showtime at last. For the first time in 18 months, the curtains will lift again at two of Minneapolis's well-known theaters. Big news for the arts world, but also big news for surrounding businesses. Mariel Mose joins us live with some perspective on the theatrical comeback. Elle, I know that you and I both love theater, but this is a big deal economically speaking too, right? Suze, so it is. It's an exciting night here at the Guthrie. They're opening a brand new play called What the Constitution Means to Me, and that's followed by the holiday tradition of a Christmas carol. It's the appeal of something new and the return of tradition that will certainly draw more people to downtown, and the nearby businesses surrounding these theaters are counting on that. The Guthrie, as well as the Orpheum, which is opening with Frozen the Musical tonight, both have several restaurants and bars nearby that rely on a theater crowd. Glick's restaurant is neighbors to the Orpheum, and before the pandemic, they were open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. But now they tell me it only makes sense to open on days when they know there's an event happening. When they have their 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 plays and stuff, uh, you know, we're always in tune to all that stuff because it's uh, when they come down to to see a play at night, uh, they go out to for dinner first. So, so we we keep track of everything that's going on downtown. So that means Glick's will be open tonight for the launch of the, the relaunch, if you will, of the Orpheum. And they're going to be open through the weekend as well. Now, keep in mind, if you're coming to the Guthrie of the Orpheum, there are some safety protocols in place. Both of them require masks as well of, as a proof of vaccination card or a negative COVID test. All right. Look forward to it. Thank you so much, Marielle. The Guthrie Theater lost around $28 million in revenue by shutting its doors for 18 months. It also had to lay off nearly 80% of the staff. What kept the theater going, though, was $7 million combined with federal loan money and generous donations from the public. But the directors there tell us that what will help them the most is for people to come out and buy tickets to these shows. I am just so excited that we're, we're going to be able to do this and welcome people back into the theater. Of course, welcome them very safely back into the theater. Um, but I think it's going to be a, a, a truly emotional and exciting moment. Emotional, no doubt. The first show, What the Constitution Means to Me, will run through October 24th. Then A Christmas Carol will start its run on November 6th.